Hi Taurus, I'm Pam and welcome to your Psychic Tarot reading for the new year of 2017 plus January. In these videos I've pulled one card for each of the four quarters of the new year plus an additional card for January using the Hanson Roberts Tarot deck. I'm concluding the reading with a card from Doreen Virtue's Healing with the Angels Oracle Cards. If you would like to get another reading where I'm doing the same thing, five cards with an additional card for, from the Oracle Cards of Doreen Virtue's Angel Cards for 2017, you can get these by clicking on the link below this video in the Show More section and it will take you to my Vimeo videos on demand page for psychic tarot reading for the new year of 2017 plus January for each sign of the Zodiac for download and purchase. You can access these videos also by going to my website www.theluckymermaid.com and clicking on the videos tab on my menu and going to page 8 and there you will see the headings for those videos. Um, don't forget that these are general readings and to get messages that pertain specifically for you, you would need a private reading. Also, be sure to watch your rising sign and your moon sign to gain more insight and information because there will be some months that they will resonate more for you than your sun sign will. All that being said, Taurus, now on to your reading for the new year of 2017 plus January. First card you have for the first quarter, Taurus, is the Ten of Rods. And the Ten of Rods is a card to me that symbolizes moving on to new and better horizons, but you're carrying Ten Rods of Burden on your shoulder. These Ten Rods of Burden are symbolic of the knowledge and experience that you've gained along the way, and that will help you on your path to these new and better horizons. You're coming to a culmination of some kind of ending point and they're talking about you need to stop spending money on something in particular. So something that you've been spending a lot of money on, uh, they're, they're acting like you need to you know, bring that to a halt um, in this first quarter of the new year. And you may feel like you're, you're being ill used. I get this feeling of like feeling pushed around by people or situations and I feel like they could be trying to get money from you or they you you I'm not saying they're laughing at you and making a joke out of you or making a mockery out of you but you may feel like that's what they're doing I don't know that they're actually doing it but I get you feeling jerked around and pushed around so if in a job situation where you have coworkers or bosses or a multitude of people, clients, whatever, whoever it is that are kind of like pushing you around or, you know, trying to manipulate you or control you and pulling strings. You may feel like you're fed up with it and have had enough. And maybe that's why you want to move on to new and better horizons with this card. Because I feel like, uh, and this could be even in a family situation. Maybe you have a bunch of family members, siblings or children or your spouse and other people in your family that are like, you know, telling you you're wrong about something or why are you wasting your time on that or, you know, you shouldn't be doing this or that or wanting money from you or trying to take up too much of your time and attention. I feel like you may be being pushed around or manipulated and controlled by people around you in the first quarter. And I do feel, Taurus, that you're going to recognize it and see it and not like it and want to either tell them off or get yourself away from them or change your circumstance or situation. I do get that all spinning around you in the first quarter. You may be also moving your family to a new location. If you have neighbors you're not getting along with or uh, these pushing around feelings and controlling could also be with actual neighbors. It could be that. 
So if you don't like the living environment you're in or you don't think it's healthy for your kids or for your own mind and your own self, uh, maybe you don't like the neighborhood. Maybe it's changing and getting dicey, but it could be neighbors that are causing problems for you. You may just decide, I have got to pack up and move myself uh, if you're single or myself and my family out of here. I get that sense. Uh, so it's obviously not going to be the same for all of you because it is general reading, but um, it does come up here pretty strongly. I do feel that many of you Tauruses in the year of 2017 are going to be making a new start somewhere else. Uh, some of you may be doing that in the first quarter, which is what this card represents, but it really could happen for you anytime this year. For the card for the second quarter of the year of 2017, you have the Wheel of Fortune, which is a card to me that symbolizes the karmic wheels of fate turning in your favor, the planets in the heavens, the spirit guides around you conspiring to help give you karmic good fortune. However, the Wheel of Fortune does have the ups and downs of karma, and I do not read cards upside down because my spirit guides are going to tell me whether this is a positive or a negative, so I don't like to look at the cards upside down. I keep them all upright, so we'll see why this is here. You're going to have an accumulation of wealth and abundance of money flowing to you. You may have already been having that because if, I, if my recollections are correct, I feel for a while... I've been picking up money increasing, financial boon coming at Tauruses for the maybe throughout 2016. So I feel like it's continuing on in 2017. I see you stamping out a whole new existence where you're actually looking into new places to, to you know, like new coffee shops to attend, new supermarkets to shop at, new uh, clubs and organizations to join. Uh, new friendships to formulate like I get you like I feel some of you Tauruses are having some big changes and uh, you're not the first sign to get moving so I feel there's a couple signs or it could be actually your rising sign or your moon sign that's getting it too I there were a few signs this month so far that got the potential for moving locations and I do feel that strongly uh, for you here some of you are going to have a newspaper article printed about you or some kind of write-up in some magazine. Uh, could be in Rolling Stone, could be in Newsweek, uh, could be in Woman's Day, could be on a blog, could actually just be in your city's local, you know, your local city paper, could be in the New York Times, could be in a publication connected to do with the work that you do, like in your own uh, like in the company you work for, maybe they have a newsletter that they send out. But you're going to have some write-up about something, many of you Tauruses, in this second quarter or at the very least in the year of 2017. I do feel some of you, you're increasing your salary uh, and you're getting more money. Some of you may actually start linking a business up to bill pay or uh, I don't know. They say the words bill pay to me. Uh, for some reason that was thrown in there but I do see like an increase in pay or an increase in money flowing to you from whatever you're doing that's coming up here in quite a di few different ways you're gonna get rid of some old process of something that you're doing if you've been tripping over old equipment like word processors old typewriters old computers anything old outdated uh, technology or equipment or old formats um, or old procedures, or if you used equipment in your work in some way, machinery, equipment, printers, faxes, anything, telephones, anything you could use, actual machinery like lathes, uh, you know, saws, anything, trucks, whatever you use in your line of work that is clogging you up, that you're tripping over it, that you could streamline and change, you will be doing that this year and getting new, uh, new ways of doing it, new equipments, new things like that come up here. Now in the third quarter, you have the full and the Fool is a card that means starting out on a new path and a new journey with high hopes and aspirations, but you can't be, you have to be cautious. It's a card of a new journey, but a warning because you don't want to fall off the cliff. you got to watch where you're going. You don't want to get blindsided by being naive and having your head up in the clouds. 
Some of you are going to get a promissory note or a gift of cash from someone who passed away. So this could be unexpected. You may have an aunt or a cousin or some relative or a step mother or father that you didn't think was going to leave you any money because it really feels like a surprise to me. I don't feel like you're expecting it, but I do get some of you getting some kind of gift of cash, promissory note or an inheritance. I do feel that some of you Tauruses that deal in the fields of communication are going to be broadening your scope and your field of communications and talking to people all over the world or communicating and doing business with or just communications with people all over the world. If you have a line of work or your own business where travel or connecting with people from other countries is uh, likely I just see you doing more and more of it if you've never done that before then that's going to start happening for you in this new year of 2017 I do feel some of you selling someplace you're living in if you even if it's like doesn't matter town home condo home you're you're getting rid of you're getting rid of it you're gonna sell it I feel you're gonna sell it and move in 2017 be careful what you sign be careful of the agreements you sign because I do feel like some of you are making some kind of pact or agreement with someone. It could be in a partnership, but you need to be really, really, really super cautious of it because I don't feel this person is trustworthy, upright or upstanding or their business practices or things that they're connected to are not. So I don't want to be a downer here on any of that because I feel like you may be so sold on some project or, or some deal or agreement or arrangement, but I do not feel that the person you are signing this deal or connection with this agreement or arrangement, it's like almost like making a pact with the devil. You cannot see clearly the nefarious behaviors or things going on behind them. So... <laughs> You've got really good cards, but if you can sidestep that deal and arrangement and shop around for and see what else comes along, because that's going to create a sadness, loss and hardship for you in the future if you sign that contract. So uh, especially beware of it in the third quarter of this new year. You're going to have like you're going to take command of your audience and you're going to be talking to a lot and communicating with a lot of whole new people you never did before. You know, if you work on stage, your stage presence is strong. It's strong for this year. Any performing or stage presence. So expect to get auditions and get the parts. Expect to get gigs. It's all coming up, especially if you have on stage presence or public speaking of any kind. Uh, now, for the fourth quarter of the new year, you have the Ace of Pentacles. And the Ace of Pentacles is God giving you financial blessings and financial abundance and financial stability. Some of you are going to make a, a deal of some kind of marketing and promotions that's going to kick something off. And that is going to be very lucrative and promising for you. So I don't feel they're talking about the same thing with the Fool card. This is something else. This is something like if you've done anything that can get marketed or promoted, uh, yeah, do it because you know what? Your finances are going to, you know, increase. They're going to skyrocket. Also, your popularity. Again, I go back to say, it, 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 I don't care whether you're in the entertainment industry or not. That does come up really strongly. Your popularity is going to be soaring in 2017 and really going up but your popularity in general even if you're not in that line of work is going to be soaring and elevated in 2017 Taurus I really do feel like for some of you this is you're going to feel like this is really your year of some good successes you could be on the negative slant slant here you could be in jeopardy of losing money so make sure you have money tied up in trusts, wills, that that's all protected from other people. Uh, protect your money. Protect your money. If you have agents uh, or siblings or I don't care who, I could name a billion people. Just protect your finances. Get your money legally protected and bound up. Make sure you're protecting your money. 
somebody's going to come in and give you a package deal for something and it's going to be a smoking red hot deal and a lot of things are involved in it you get a lot of things in this deal i feel you that's a wise thing to take so it could have promotions in it uh royalties um stock options like i get multiple things now maybe you're buying a car and it's going to come with all these amenities or maybe you're buying a vacation home and it's going to come with all these extra perks and extras like uh you know um, i forget what that's called they you get insurance you get some kind of insurance on it's not homeowner's insurance. It's something you can get when you buy the house on all the appliances and all the things in it. Like whatever the package deal that comes up to you this year, especially in the fourth quarter, I feel that's a very good deal for you to take because you get the benefits of a lot of, a lot of things that are included in the package that are perks for you. So it's like multiple things working for you at once, not just one single uh, train of operation if you're single some of you are going to have a gravitational pull very strongly towards someone new romantically speaking that has a lot of money so that's going to be the case for some of you uh, that's going to come up here it's time to tell the truth Taurus let people know how you feel in 2017 don't hold that back now this is for January I'm sorry this is not a good card I do feel like your readings pretty good but here you have three of swords now this card is supposed to just be symbolic of january and this is divorce it's called the divorce card it could be somebody cheating because there's three swords piercing the heart or it could be some kind of sadness and loss that you may be feeling or heartbreak over something it could be somebody's passed away and you're sad it could be a breakup happened your marriage is ending and you're sad uh, I mean, there's multiple reasons this could happen. So let me listen. Why is Three of Swords here for Taurus? You may have somebody that gets angry with you or blasts you about something in January and tells you that they feel like you owe them something back. Could be something of theirs. They feel like you took like a possession, like a TV, a stereo system, uh, if they gave you an engagement ring maybe they feel like you need to give these things back um it could be if they gave you a loan or they gave you money to help you in some way and now you two aren't together anymore they may say you owe me that money back i mean i'm getting this kind of energy somebody coming at you and maybe negatively uh, speaking words that may feel harsh to you but the tone of what it is is that they feel like they want something back uh, is what I'm feeling for, for some of you you may have someone that says something negative about you that is not true they could post this on Facebook they could post it on a blog they could uh, if you do YouTube uh, they could post a negative comment underneath uh, a YouTube video you've made. I mean, it's, it's, or they could just be telling people uh, in your family or in your social circles or your public, if you're a public figure, something negative about you. And I feel like you may take legal action and say that's slander. You need to remove it and take it down. Uh, like that's libel and slander you may stand up against it so for some of you it's somebody saying you owe them something back for others of you this is somebody that said something uh, made some disparaging remarks about you and could be in a public for format or forum um, could be that somebody wrote an, an email about you saying negative things and send it to your new life partner or your new spouse um, or somebody new you're romantically involved with and they may have sent a nasty email saying you can't you know don't get involved with them blah 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 because I do get some of you are gonna have that kind of sensation it could even just be as simple as overhearing that or finding out that somebody was gossiping about you at work or trying to you know don't ever underestimate you know there are people it's unfortunate that feel like they have to undermine people to try to get their job so it could be somebody trying to get your position at work and they told a boss or said something about 
you to some higher ups that aren't true. Um, so I feel like it's going to get recognized, addressed, dealt with. And those of you where it would apply to take legal action or talk to a lawyer, I feel you will do that. And then I feel whatever the comment was or whatever the thing was said will be either retracted or removed. So I do feel like you're going to deal with it uh, for many of you. But it's, it's hard to read this. It's a general reading. So how this is going to affect all you Tauruses is not going to be the same for each and every Taurus. It will be a different scenario but generally i do feel like your readings were your reading for 2017 here was really good we have to see what it's going to say for vimeo because it's going to be the cat black um golden tarot deck over there not this deck so we'll see what comes up now for your um during virtues healing with the angels oracle cards you got ideas and inspirations that's the card that came up for you for the new year of 2017 it's time to look inside of your soul and inside of your heart about what you want to create or produce. What do you want to generate? What do you want to create? What do you want to produce? It's time to look at that and start doing it. You may already do that if you're a writer or if you're a musician or a singer or, or a composer of music and songs. You may already do that, but you need to generate some new things. It's 2017. So I feel that that's why this card is showing up. I do feel that you're going to be working on some kind of new project or new creation or new plans that you're going to be getting out on the market for consumption. This could be on your own website, through your own business, or, you know, however it would make sense for you. But I do feel you're, it's something that you're going to create and put out there for people to, in many cases, purchase. Maybe you're going to start getting into a circuit that travels around uh, and does, it's some kind of craft that you create and you're going to start going to different shows and different fairs and different things. Um, I don't know. I see. Well, however, you are, you're going to sell it. I do feel some of you are going to sell these things. I also feel that this year of 2017, Tauruses are going to start delving more strongly into their spirituality. Not necessarily religion. It could be religion for some of you. But spirituality is a different thing. Making a stronger connection with your guides, with your higher self, with your intuition, and what you believe in. If you believe in guides and angels and God and the universe, then those are the things that you're going to start uh, making a stronger connection with in this year of 2017. Some of you are going to make a new start in a relationship with someone new. It does come up here. I, you know, it's weird. You didn't really have the cards that symbolize whirl, whirlwind romance here, but it's coming up through this card. Don't be surprised if that isn't the case for some of you Tauruses in 2017. You single, unattached, looking for and interested in love or dating or romance. I do feel it's going to come up here for some of you, and it's going to happen fast like a whirlwind. Some of you may have already had it starting in the end of 2016, and it's just going to continue on in the uh, new year of 2017. The guides say, make sure you take your time this year with everything you do. There's no need to rush. So if you find yourself getting pressured by people that are coming at you with offers, deals, any kind of whatever it is, promotions, marketing, uh, gigs, whatever they're coming at you with, don't make any decisions so quickly. Take your time because the guides are saying, Taurus, there's no rush, but you're going to have a lot of good payoffs for you this year. So I hope this reading was of help to you. I certainly hope it made sense. I want to thank you so much for watching, sharing, and liking my videos. Thank you for subscribing and for Google Plusing. I do truly appreciate that. Please remember to subscribe. That way you'll get notified when I post my videos here on YouTube. And if you would like to get a, another year reading, you know, for the new year, another psychic tarot reading for the new year of 2017 plus January and also another uh, oracle card from the Healing with the Angels oracle cards where on the Vimeo videos where I'm going to be using the Golden Tarot deck by Cat Black, uh, you can access these videos 
for download and purchase by clicking on the link below this video in the show more section and it will take you to my Vimeo videos on demand page for psychic tarot reading for the new year of 2017 plus January for each sign of the zodiac. You can also access these videos by going to my website www.theluckymermaid.com clicking on the videos tab on my menu and going to page 8 and there you will see the headings for those videos. You just click on your sign and it will take you to those videos to that video on Vimeo. Um, I want to say I've done this for the past two years so I'm continuing on with it again this year and I hope you like it. Uh, I want to wish you a fantastic and blessed new year of 2017, Taurus, and know that I wish you many blessings and peace.